Hello YouTube and welcome to Full Dottle, a channel dedicated to tamping topics such as pipes, tobacco, lore, and more. I am your host, the Bearded Briarman, and without further ado, let's get lit. Welcome back everyone, and on this episode of Full Dottle, I'm going to be telling you the legend of how the briar pipe was born. But first, a little housekeeping. I am smoking my Tobacco Pipes International Custom Built Number 2. For those of you who aren't already subscribed to Tobacco Pipes International, I will leave a link down in the bucket so that you can go and check out the amazing work that he does there. So the discovery of briarwood as pipe material happened quite by accident. Shortly after the death of Napoleon Bonaparte in 1821, a cult of hero worship sprang up. One individual who glorified the emperor's memory was a French pipe maker. The pipe maker, wanting to honor his hero, set out on a pilgrimage to the place of Napoleon's birth in the Mediterranean island of Corsica. Being a pipe smoker himself, the pipe maker took along his most beautiful Meerschaum pipe. And upon arriving in Corsica, sat to enjoy a relaxing smoke after such a long journey. Unfortunately, luck wasn't on his side. And as he was retrieving the intricate possession, dropped it, only to watch it shatter as it landed on the hard ground. Desperate for a means to smoke his favorite tobacco, the pipe maker set about the village trying to find a replacement. The pipe maker had no luck in finding a pipe, but the locals encouraged him to visit a farmer in the countryside known for his skill in carving. So the pipe maker quickly set out on his journey to find the farmer, and once he did, commissioned him to carve a suitable pipe from a wood hard enough to endure the burning tobacco. When the farmer presented the finished pipe to the pipe maker, he was ecstatic at what he saw. It was an attractive hard wood with pale gold color and close grains. He was so impressed by it that he offered to buy the rest of the wood the farmer had, asking him, what type of wood is this? So the farmer explained it was made from the burl of the tree heath and sold him the rest of his stock. After the pipe maker returned home, he began to work with the wood trying to duplicate the work that the farmer had accomplished, but soon realized that the wood was much more difficult to shape than he had anticipated. So, not wanting to waste the valuable wood, the pipe maker decided to take it to one of the factories where he bought his pipe stems. The factory was located in a town well known for the craftsmen, considered experts at wood carving. These craftsmen had been taught their skill by the monks who had settled the town in the Middle Ages. Through centuries of learning to work wood during the harsh winter months at the base of the Jura Mountains because they were confined indoors, they began to hone their skills by crafting rosaries and crucifixes. And eventually, as the town grew, they taught the skill to the inhabitants. Today, we know this town as St. Claude, and it is still known as the birthplace of the Briar Pipe. So that's my story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And until the next time we see each other, I bid you farewell and happy piping. Bye, everyone.
Don't forget to enlist in the Full Dottle Platoon. It's easy, just click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as I upload the next episode.